item that you have spoken with home care workers and their experiences, and I appreciate the opportunity to share my story with you today. I've been a home care worker for 16 years, and I love caregiving. I love being an advocate uh, for those who can't advocate or have a voice for themselves. I got into home care uh, kind of by chance. Almost overnight, I was a single mom with four children and no real labor or job skills. And, however, the reason I'm here to share is the reason I have a passion for caregiving and home care is RJ. Can you have a picture of RJ? Okay. Um, back uh, in this time, I had two priorities. I had uh, my children and RJ. RJ was born with isolated, isolated listen self, listen self, sorry, listen selfly, which caused his brain to have a smooth brain. Um, at the point that I cared for him, he had already spent nine years with professionals in his life, believing that he couldn't understand his surroundings. But for five years, I, along with his mother, sacrificed and fought not only to keep RJ alive, to make sure that he knew love joy, music, and playtime. <coughs> RJ loved his bath, it was his absolute favorite, and he would love his massage after his baths. I used to rub his back and tell him, watch it wiggle, see it jiggle, like the jello commercial, and he would giggle and laugh. Um, but soon that fight became a fight of letting him go. <coughs> And in those final moments at the hospital, when the doctor said that it was time for everyone to leave, I rose and his mom grabbed me and said, stay your family. And I had an opportunity to stay with him alongside his mother to watch his last breath. And true in life, as in death, I bathed RJ for that final time before the funeral home to and I did that not only because I knew that his mother needed that, but because that was my job. My time with RJ taught me that it's not just about providing the basic needs for the most vulnerable citizens that we have in our communities, Sorry, but caring for another person the same way that you would want your family to care for. And being their voice and their advocate Someone that has stood up and does that when no one else can. And that's what makes home care a passion, just not a profession. When I started as a home care worker, we made about seven eighty-six an hour. I still needed public assistance after providing this care for another family. Just to make our ends meet, I lived in poverty and my adult older children or my older children at the time sacrificed their after school activities for the younger ones because that's what families do. And so that's why in Washington we organized and we built an organization of home care workers that were ready to take on the broken home care system and create one that works for families by raising wages, creating real quality trainings and education opportunities and having a retirement plan, the first of its kind, so that home care workers continue to do the love, uh, the work that they love. And in Washington, home care workers now start at about $12 an hour. We have access to training and a retirement plan. However, across the country, we're losing quality professionals because they can't afford to continue this profession. And that's a travesty. And that's why we simply cannot afford to allow them to leave this occupation. And that's why we're going to continue to fight. Senator, thank you again. I appreciate you being here today and listening to my story. We know that we can count on you to continue to fight all of our fights. And please join me, everyone, in welcoming, welcoming Senator Murphy.